guys, I'm gonna be shooting Gary Vee. No problem, brother. No, no, you're like really my number one like inspiration, Thank really. Thank you. You guys hear that? That's the sound of Malacca. That's <laughs> these are the sounds I hear when I come back home and I'm back here. Like, you do know the odds of being a human being are 400 trillion to one, right? Mm. <laughs> So, so what's up guys? I really want to try to make this as quick as possible because I just want to get into the important part of the video. This took three seconds. Oh my hand is beautiful. Before I show you guys the exclusive video of me asking Gary the question, I want to tell you guys how this all happened. I'm a huge, huge fan of Gary Vee. I've been following him for maybe four years now. Gary is basically my number one inspiration. The, the way Gary gives these advices and all this stuff, it just really, really, really has shaped me and helped me to... <laughs> To who I am as a person now and I mean it would mean the world for me if I could ever just meet him so two months back on Instagram I saw this announcement that Gary Vee is coming to Malaysia for a conference straight away I bought two tickets to go there the other ticket was eventually given to my brother around one week before the event um, there was this day I went to the Ming thing uh, so we talked a little bit and we discussed about something that I can't really share about and I told Brian which is one of the OG members of the Ming thing that I super love love Gary Vee okay, maybe a week before the actual conference Brian like whatsapp me and he told me that, hey yo, by any chance are you going to Gary Vee's conference? And I'm like, yes, I'm going, I bought two tickets. He said, oh, by any chance do you want to shoot Gary Vee? Yes! <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, when Brian told me that he had this job for me to shoot Gary Vee when he came to Malaysia, I was just... <sighs> you... Yeah, um, I do not know how to explain what I felt that day. I got the chance to be beside and around Gary for about two hours. And after that, I went for his conference. Such an amazingly valuable experience. I recorded a lot of clips of him when he was talking throughout the interviews. For today, I'll be posting my unreleased footage of me asking Gary the battle between being selfish and selfless. I hope you guys find this very valuable. Here's the clip. Thank you so much. So I've been following your content for a very long time, about I think three years plus. Thank I've you. recently followed your podcast. You wanna help me? Yeah. Oh, dude, that means so much. Thank you so much. So um, okay, I just one question. I've been having, having this battle between um, being selfish and selfless. Yeah. I was trying to give people opportunity. Yeah. 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 So I've been doing a lot of things, but I've been trying to be selfless. And recently I noticed it's shitty because I haven't been prioritizing myself. Now I'm becoming more selfish. But then I noticed, man, people are kind of like going against me and I'm like, man, where's the fine line? So my question is kind of like... It ebbs and flows, it ebbs and flows. So when they're saying that you're being selfish, are you asking them for something? Are you selling something? I'm not selling, I'm trying to give as much as I can. So what are, they, what are they saying that you're being selfish for? Okay, one reason is yep. back then I was in university yes. um, because I actually got into a, my career right. of this content creation really, really quick. So because of this uh, situation, my friends were like, don't, no, anymore. what are you doing? You should be with us. But then this battle happened. Here's what I would say. Don't overjudge yourself on an everyday basis, an every week basis, and an every month basis. Look at it every year, every three years. You know, the reality is, is that you can only do what you can do. Like, as much as your friends may, may miss you, yeah. and they want to hang out, or they see that you found something and they're, they're hurting a little bit because like, fuck, I want to find something and they're taking it out on you. Yeah. That doesn't mean that you should deviate from what you're doing. Um, I, I, you have to make yourself happy first. You exactly. have to. Otherwise, you'll never make anybody else happy. I know this stuff. Awesome. That means so much. I really miss making meaningful videos. Comment below what videos I should make next. Be awesome. Stay awesome. Bye guys.